Hello everyone and welcome to another episode here on uh, Talk Daily. Hopefully you have a great day wherever you are in the world. And uh, let's get to the story. This is about the Acura RDX A-Spec. First of all, I think it's a beautiful looking car. It's $55,000 SUV that is kind of... Um, kind of a sporty car i don't want to use the word sporty too much it 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 does if you get in if you get the all-wheel drive version acura says that the, some of the power could be transferred to the rear up to 70 percent of the power could send to the rear wheels to give you better handling uh, but to me this is a general car for driving in in the city you have a range if you're doing 70 something five miles an hour you get a range of 420 miles which is 440 miles range which is very good so all in all, I think this is a great car. I love this color. It's a five hundred dollar extra color. I forgot the name of it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Let me see. It's called something blue. It's a nice color. I mean, it obviously stands out pretty good. There you go. It's called um, Apex Blue Pearl Paint. So again, fifty five thousand. It's it's a nice looking car. It's great for the city. Uh, it's kind of heavy. It's four thousand something pounds, but that's what you expect. But it's beautiful i think i think it looks really nice the interior looks really beautiful uh here's shots of the exterior i mean if you look at it as um for, for yourself or for a family or for putting for cargo space you get all that together you also get the uh, elevated seating position if that's something you like uh, for commuting the interior is is nice it's, again this is the honda well acura the luxury version of honda you still get the 2.0 liter engine it's turbocharged 2.0 liter engine giving you like 270 horsepower 200 something 270 torque so much again it's um not really um i don't want to say this is like a sport machine okay but it's um it gives you the option i mean if you want to go up to that sporty suv like the porsche has then you're going to be shelling out so much money for fifty-five thousand, i think this is a bargain again i think the interior the acro interior i i personally like it uh it's really well put together um it might be a little bit busy i mean for my take it's kind of it probably get used to it it kind of looks like a little jet fighter thing going on in there there's a lot of buttons and whatnot but once you get used to it, it's fine. Again, I love the interior. If you look at the ceiling, I know um, I want. I, I should check out this car in person. I've seen this car. Uh, it's really nice when you sit inside. It's roomy. In the center console, you, 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 you kind of get used to it. It has a wireless charging. Again, if you want to get these cars, get the one with all the options. I really would not get the front-wheel drive one. I would not get the one without all the package, the technology package. Get all that. You get a rear heated seer, seats. You get a heated steering wheel. If you need that, depends on what where you at. Uh, doesn't hurt to have these things. Um, again, the the console that we're talking about, the touchpad. If you know what the touchpad is, that thing over here. It's um, in the center console. You put your hand on it, and you could like, you know, navigate one not. Again, I've been saying this previously. I don't need any of that stuff because I have my phone. But hey, if you need your car to do so, you have that option. And you could link it to the, obviously Apple iPlay. No Apple. CarPlay, excuse me. Uh, is it another look of the steering wheel? I like this steering wheel. I like I like the Acura steering wheel. I, again, I like the interior. It might be too busy for some people, and, but to me, it's just fine. Remember, this is the A spec. It gives you a little bit more options as far. Again, it's all exterior. But one thing about this spec, the uh, super handling SH all wheel drive A spec, is that you get adaptive dampening. And I think that's what you're paying for adaptive dampening. So it's not like an old school damp, like an inverted shock. Basically, the dampening is constantly modulated. I don't want to say every second, but almost close to maybe even microsecond. It's being constantly being adjusted. Okay, so um, if you know how that works, you can Google it. It's basically just electric current going to a bunch of like fluid with a bunch of metal shavings in it, and you know the more current, the more it gets stiff. So long story short, you always have adaptive dampening. Dampening is always adjusted. Um, that's what I was saying. It, if you go to sport mode, the car becomes more. Like it won't give you, it will stay on high gear constantly. You know, this car has 10 gears, 10, 10 forward gears. That's insane. <laughs> That's a lot. And it, again, people have been complaining about the transmission that doesn't know what gear wants to be in. I kind of want to go through all the gears if you're only going slowly, like something maybe skip one or two. And if you're driving manual, you're familiar with that. You don't really need to go through gears sometimes. You can just skip. Well, this car doesn't. Uh, again, that's a little that's fine that's a small price to pay uh as far as again that's the pad that we're talking about you can hit home and uh, again i'm not I, I i like the way it looks if again when you use it every day you get used to it when you use it every day you definitely get used to it this is the wireless charger right here this is the one that comes with all the spec this is the advanced a spec advanced that comes with all this technology accessory which i really recommend uh the sound system 
you know, we're an age where all these sound systems are fantastic. You know, long gone the days where you're like, the sound system wasn't good. I need to change my head unit. That's all gone. Again, that's a, a, the shot of the leather on the inside. It's not, I don't think it's real leather. It's synthetic. But regardless, I like it. Again, I won't go with the white. Just the way I am. Um, I have a feeling that I will stain it. That's just me. But uh, it looks fat. It looks fantastic. When it's brand new, it looks clean. And here's a shot of the engine. A 2.0 liter engine, turbocharged. Again, is this the car you're going to go off-roading in it? <clears throat> uh, I don't know. I don't know if you're going to go off-roading in this car. I think, again, I think this car is perfectly suited for the city. Can you go off-road with it? Yes. Can you go? You can go off-road in a Miata as far as I'm concerned. You can go off-road in any vehicle, okay? It's just about modifying it. But in the current configuration, this car is perfectly fit to be on the city, on the freeway. It will do, it will do you... Um, We'll do we'll do pretty good in that condition. Again, the perfect shots of it. I really like I like I like the way it looks. Uh I think it just looks really clean. And again, it's an option for people who wanna have those sporty SUV, but they don't want to really pay the heavy, heavy price. You know, I mean, if you compare it to the German counterpart, they're very expensive. They're talking about the car giving you a lateral grip of 0.83 G. Look, if you're rolling this car, you have a lot of, you know, kahunas. I mean, you're 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 <clears throat> um I, I wouldn't uh, uh, drive this car in any sporty matter, although it handles. And that's, um, on a little side note, that technology that Honda has with all-wheel drive technology where it's capable, again, only in the all-wheel drive version, it's capable of putting most of the power to the rear wheels and then split it 100% to one of the wheels. So we talk about rear right wheel, can, all the power can go to the rear left wheel. It kind of, you know, get you out of a turn. I think the technology is fantastic. Unfortunately, it's not finding its way into a chassis, which I think will be more applicable. You know, and I know that's a different subject. Uh, so, um, you know, I, I would like to see the technology in, I don't know, some two-door mm, car, but unfortunately it's not. Anyway, it's just in the RDX, which is good because you, if you want sporting, you get it. I mean, the reason you're able to get 0.83G out of a, 4,000 pound car that's you know what high center of gravity is because of that technology so it's doing its job uh so there you go talking about here the, they're talking about the uh, technology saying our test rig and this i'm quoting the article oh i forgot to give credit to the article uh, this article from car and driving ran by joey lorio sorry mr joey uh joey anyway um again i have a link to this article in the description below um uh, but moving on, uh, there was something neat about the article I want to get to. Uh, it's saying, uh, with the ability to toggle into sport mode, they maintain the RDX corning acume. So anyway, so the, okay, so the available all-wheel drive system, which sends 70% of the engine torque rearward and can further shunt 100% of that total to either rear wheels. That's fantastic. So 70% so of the engine torque can go to the rear left wheel. You know, of course, the 30% is still on the front to, you know, to steer you out but it's great to have that option so it's amazing technology in it you know the all-wheel drive super handling all-wheel drive that honda has i've been a big fan of from the day it came out but again there's always been an suvs for some reason um the talk about the steering is light but firm again it's it's good enough for fifty five thousand dollars you're getting you're getting a whole lot of an suv that's kind of sporty and you don't have to shell out what the eighty thousand plus a hundred thousand dollar plus for the porsche so uh, i think it's a good deal I really think so. Again, I like the interior. It's well made, well put together car. They're comparing it to, um, they're telling me about the horsepower is somewhere like around Audi Infinity, but less than Alpha and Genesis. Again, you get this car because you like the way it looks. I'm, that's my personal opinion. Uh, if you like the way this Acura looks, that's the one to go for. I personally like it. I like the interior. Uh, again, I wouldn't go with the white color, but as far as the MPG, 21 to the city, 28 on the highway. I think that's for the front-wheel drive. No, for the all-wheel drive, you get 27 MPG, 21 city, 26 highway. There, that's more like for the all-wheel drive, which is not bad. It's not great. You know, to me, when you get to 21 in the city, that's... um. But, I mean, you have to understand, it's an all-wheel drive car that's heavy. You're running on 255 tires. That's fat, fat tires. Uh, let me see the tire size. Um, Yep, 255. That's not a small tire. So that's why your MPG is not what you want it to be. I bet it's fine. I, I, again, that's a that's a price you pay for having handling. And I mean, again, this is what this car is all about. It's kind of like somewhat handling, comfortable, luxurious, and compact 
ish suv and i think uh the acro looks good for that looks good and uh, again i said the cabin inside i'm kind of I, I like it it's a nice looking car so as always let me know what you think about this car do you own this car do you, you agree with me you disagree with me let me know again i talk about the road holding skid bat 0.83 g i would not be driving and turning my steering wheel in a suv like that it's just the way i am uh they give you a zero to 60 which is mm, whatever uh, 6.2 seconds quarter mile 14.9 app if you want to be doing these things uh from 30 to 50 3.8 seconds okay so passing speed is good uh 3.8 one two three four eh. that's actually not that fast uh so anyways um all in all good job for acura and i, I like the car i definitely like that paint apex blue pearl paint i think that looks fantastic anyway as always uh take care out there be safe and i'll see you next time <laughs> Bye bye